Hey guys, welcome back to Guess the Wheel. It's episode three this week and we're stepping things up. We've got this 18 by 10 Apex EC7R. It's a forged wheel and it's finished in brushed aluminium. So let's see if the guys can guess what it is. Hi, I'm Johnny Tegawa. Got another Guess the Wheel. So let's, uh, let's dive right in. Hi, I'm Richard. I'm a purchasing manager for Tegra Imports. I've come to try and guess the wheel. Hi everyone, I'm Rich Orty again. And um, yeah, guess I'm playing guess the wheel again. So I'm gonna pull this hat down and um, try and figure out what's under this cloth here. Um, so fingers crossed, I got it right last time. So we'll see how I do. Make sure all the blindfold is properly on. Can't see a thing. Okay, all right, I am well covered. Can you see Rich or not? No, I'm not gonna cheat. All right, I hate this point because it's like, Straight into the unknown. All right, let's get this thing off. Take it fully off. Oh, okay. Ooh, side cut. It's definitely an apex wheel, because I can tell by the, the groove on one side of the spoke. Uh, it's like milled in between the spokes. This is more challenging, I reckon. Can't think of the name of it. They've also got knurled, knurled beads. So yeah, it's definitely an apex. I mean, we've got, I don't know if counting's got, even going to make any difference, but. Okay. Um, I reckon it's apex, uh, and it's purely because of these side cuts. I'm going to have to go like apex, because I know that they mill out the sides of some of theirs, but. But I can't actually think which one it is. It's either EC7RS, See if there's anything in particular. Oh, there's something there. I don't know. What, don't know what that says. You'd think it'd be easy to just like just read it, but yeah, fair play to like anyone who can figure that out just from touching that, because I absolutely cannot. Um, okay, so or a VF5 or a. I think I might change to Westport just because, although I can't figure out what it says on these um, little um, engraved bits, it feels longer than Apex. So I'm going to go for a Wedsport TC105X. Is it the new EC7 RS? Yeah, EC7 RS Apex, that's my final choice. Uh, Colour? Colour, oh. Uh, I think it's going to be, if it's the wheel I think it is, it's going to be a brushed silver. Um, and it is off the wall. Well, I'd have a go that it's that, that nice brushed finish, that new one, because it's a nice wheel. Um, if I was to guess a colour, I'd probably go uh, gunmetal. Oh, it was an apex. It wasn't even the right apex. Oh, that feels so different. Like, I forgot that they have all of the outline around it, so I was thinking like that feels like a lot of letters. Yes. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah. Great. Was anyone yeah, else guessed no, it? Don't yeah. Give away onto these, uh, side yeah, pockets. because they don't. Not many people do it on no. one side. Yeah, I, that, that's what originally made me think Apex, because I know that they do mill out the sides and stuff to, to make it lighter, which is obviously part of the process that probably makes it slightly more expensive than some of the, the cheaper wheels. Well, How many people have guessed that? They don't do it on any side because obviously it's bloody hard to machine. What a tough machining process, because you've got to go in, and then side cut there, and then obviously these knurled bits, they're only found on a few different wheels. You didn't feel for I that didn't for feel for that. I just went straight to that and I just thought, yeah. and the, yeah. I didn't know whether, it, like you though, I didn't know whether it was the VS5 RS. Because I, I was trying to work out how big, how big that yes, is. Yes, because when you're feeling really... it, you can't quite see this design. Yeah. So I was trying to do that. Yeah, I suppose that goes difference between handling wheels and just seeing the pictures on when you put them on the website. So maybe I'll do better next time. Yeah, get retention. Yeah, yeah, I'll get, I'll, I'll, Ready for me redemption arc. Cool, thanks. Yeah. 